as a parent. So I have uh, an 11 year old and a seven year old and I've, I've gone through the whole process up until now. I think it, I have like, I would say like a 10 year market study of um, my kids' eating habits and how they were formed and, and, you know, hopefully like where I can take them to when they were young. And I'm going to go back all the way to like from, um, from bottle feeding, you know, they went from breast milk to uh, formula and then on to solid foods. And that was, a, that was a key point where we could still control what they were, what they were having, what their intake was. And uh, knowing this, as a chef, I would make fresh purees in the restaurants and then cryovac them. So I would make uh, sweet potato puree, malanga puree, uh, spinach and carrot. These days you can um, vacuum seal just about anything. You can buy a vacuum seal at Target and, and, and make your purees, put them in the freezer, pull them out, and then you know, you're giving, you can really at that point still control their internal environment. I think where we made a mistake, I'll just say this, is that, you know, we started to, uh, as they got older, you know, we started introducing them to, you know, wh whether it was pastas or french fries and that sort of kind of like, you know, the busy parent ends up feeling like, oh, I just want to like feed them and move on and, and it's foods that they like. And I just think that that's a mistake that we made and, and now we've been ever since then so trying to make up the ground on how do we get kids away from these unhealthy foods that they naturally gravitate towards. I think that there's a textural issue with kids that really is hard to overcome. So I've kind of overcome that by um, doing a lot of, uh, putting a lot of things in the blender and getting that first initial, um, first initial eating experience as a soup. So it's, you know, a warm soup, but that has all the good uh, nutritional ingredients and elements into it so that they can have something healthy. And then at that point, it's, um, it's still a battle. It's still tough.